to the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care to update the House on COVID-19. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Our race between the vaccine and the virus continues. Uh, as a nation, we've taken some huge strides forward, Mr Speaker. There are now 908 people in hospital with coronavirus, a fall of 9% in the past week. And the average number of daily deaths is now six, the lowest number since the middle of March. On top of this, uh, positive news, Mr Speaker, our vaccination programme is accelerating at pace. Over 72% of all adults have now been uh, given their first dose, and 43% uh, of all adults have the protection of two doses. And this weekend, we reached the milestone of 60 million vaccines administered across the United Kingdom. Mr Speaker, this weekend, Public Health England also published new research showing that the effectiveness against uh, symptomatic disease from the variant first discovered in India is similar after two doses when compared to the B117 variant dominant in our country. And that, as with other variants, uh, even higher levels of effectiveness are uh, expected against hospitalisation and death. Uh, this is encouraging data. Mr. Speaker, and it uh, reinforces once again the importance of our vaccination programme in giving us a path out of this pandemic, as well as showing just how important it is that everyone comes forward for both jabs when the call comes through. Mr. Speaker, it's the progress made by the British people in following the rules and the protection offered to our vaccination programme that means we were able to take step three in our roadmap last week. But we take these steps with vigilance and with caution, staying alert to new variants that can jeopardise the advances we've made. We've come down really hard on the variant first identified in India, wherever we have found it, surging in testing capacity and vaccine uh, for those who are eligible. Uh, over the past few days, we've extended this rapid approach to even more areas, so as well as Bolton and Blackburn and Darwin, uh, which the Prime Minister spoke about at his press conference on the 14th of this month. We uh, are taking rapid action in Bedford, Hounslow, Burnley, Leicester, Kirklees and North Tyneside. Uh, as the Prime Minister set out two weeks ago, we are urging people in these areas to take extra caution when meeting anyone outside their households or support bubble, including meeting outside rather than inside where possible, keeping two metres apart from people you don't live with, and that people should try to avoid travelling in and out of the affected areas unless it is essential. For example, obviously for work, if you can't work from home, or for education. As the Prime Minister said, Mr Speaker, we want the whole country to move out of these restrictions together, and we're trusting, trusting people to be responsible and to act with caution and common sense as they have done throughout this pandemic and to make decisions about how best to protect themselves and their loved ones informed by the risks. That is exactly uh, what we should be doing. We're always looking to see how we can communicate more effectively with local authorities and we will of course take on board the views expressed uh, by the House over the course of this debate. Mr Speaker, through acting quickly whenever the virus flares up and protecting people through our vaccination programme, we can guard the incredible gains uh, we've all made and get ourselves on the road to recovery.